Well, hello there. My name is Mark Miles, and I love helping trainers, presenters really take their results to the next level. And in today's video, I want to ask you the question, what if? What if? You see, I want to talk to you about a transition that eventually happens. Well, hopefully it'll happen for you even faster. But I want to talk to you about the main transition that every trainer has to have, the epiphany, the aha moment, so to speak. Because over the last 10 years and even longer, I have watched so many presentations, so many training sessions, so many keynote presentations by other people. And even myself, when I very first started out training, um, I guess I was a little bit lucky because I had this aha moment quite early on. Now, this aha moment happened for me when I was delivering courses on diploma, so like the Diploma of Leadership and Management and Leadership Skills and Management and all the context around developing a business, running a business, all of that. And this course that I ran was over a, um, probably a six-month period and we had one class, you know, um, each couple of weeks over that six-month period there. Now, for me, one of my biggest frustrations was I would teach some content and then we'd come to the next session and I would ask the class, the workshop participants, what do you remember from last session? And every single time, the amount that they actually remembered was like one or two things. And I started to get frustrated. I started to wonder what is going on that I put 200% into my lesson, my workshop, my training session, but they walk away with such minuscule amount of information. And during that experience, I really had the shift, the shift that ultimately really drives how I train, how I facilitate, and how I coach others to deliver and facilitate now, which is ultimately, it's not what we say that matters, it's what they remember that makes all the difference. And unfortunately, human nature, though, when people first start out or even when they've been delivering for a long time, it operates by the complete opposite. Trainers seem to have a belief that the more I get through, the more I say, the better I am. Yeah. I've got through 300 power points. I am a man. Now, I got a little bit passionate there for a reason because so many times, Trainers, presenters, when they come to do a workshop, will go, oh, but I didn't get through my extra 10 PowerPoints, or I didn't get to set, show my video, or I didn't get to do that because I ran out of time. Now, I know, again, I'm getting very passionate, but what's it going to take? What's it going to take for you to have the shift? Now, the shift that I'm talking about is when you actually look at your session plan, your syntax, your entire workshop plan, and actually ask yourself the question, what is the probability that they're going to remember what we do? What is the probability that they actually hear what we talk about and remember and walk away and use it? And one of my great mentors, Chris Voss, he has mentioned the number 19. Now, the number 19 is basically how many times does someone need to hear something before they remember it? Now, this is time dependent, of course, but we need to realize as trainers, presenters, workshop facilitators, whatever we want to call ourselves, that you cannot ever, ever, ever expect someone to hear something once and then remember it. I mean, maybe, maybe, but highly likely they're going to forget it. Now, Certainly, it depends on impact and how it's said, but repetition and relevance drives retention. Repetition and relevance drives retention. I'll say it again. Repetition and relevance drives retention. What we mean by relevance is how necessary it is for those people to need it and go out and use it. So as long as you know, there has to be that personal connection to the information, and it needs to be information they actually need going forward. So I really want to encourage you to think about that number 19. If someone needs to hear something a minimum of 19 times, if somebody potentially needs to use the information to remember and retain it, well, is it about time that you started to look at your session plan and go, okay, 
how else can I present the information? What is the likelihood of them remembering the information? And is saying it once, is doing it once going to be enough? And have I got my expectations realistic enough? Because far too often, trainers spend too much time thinking that their audience is remembering this amount when really they're remembering this amount, if not less than that. And once I made the shift to speaking to be remembered and really focusing on how do I get this content, whatever I'm going through, as memorable as possible, everything changed. Now, I've done quite a few videos on how to make the content memorable, and I won't really go into it right now in this video because at the end of the day, there is so many different ways, so many different activities, so many debriefs, so many ways that you can repeat things in very different ways, so many ways that you can present things visually so that you have a deeper impact. We're not going to go into that in this video. But I simply want to invite you into the world invite you and encourage you to step into the world of it's not what you say that matters it's not how much content you get through that makes a difference or makes you the better trainer or the facilitator i would actually postulate that it makes you a worse one i postulate that the more you're trying to get through stuff the worse you actually are you see great masterful trainers and presenters they're the ones that look at their content and go, how do I make this magical? How do I make it so engaging it's unforgettable? How do I get to a point where people come up to me and go, I'm so frustrated, I can't forget what you told me. I'm so happy that that thing that you said the other day, I applied that immediately and I got X result. You see, great trainers, presenters, and master facilitators look at content very differently. And they go, how do I simplify it? And how do I make it so impossible not to use? So this video, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit ranty. It's a little bit me asking you the question, what's it going to take? What is it going to take for you to look at your content and go, how do I make it memorable? Not how do I get through it? All right. Once you make this shift, everything changes. Everything shifts for you because you walk into a training room and you think differently. You get obsessive compulsive about people remembering the content and you are always getting so creative, so curious about how do you help people really absorb the content and make it part of who they are and walk away using what you've taught them. All right, folks, hope you got some value from the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and get this message out there because we really want trainers stepping up to the next level and really empowering themselves with great strategies, but also empowering their learners with new information and doing it in such a creative way. Thanks so much, everyone. And remember, speak to be remembered. Don't just speak to get through it. All right, thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you on the next one.